Hello air signs, welcome to Reflexive Moon Tarot. I'm Sarah and I'll start off the read with acknowledging that YouTube is located on the unceded territory of the Ramatush Ohlone peoples and I really think it's always important that we acknowledge those who are de, you know, displaced for the purpose of capital gain. So let's get into this love reading, politics aside, and we, although I'm sure you love talking about politics, being the fabulous mind-focused air sign that you are, we're going to start off the reading with um, oracles. So we're going to pull from this um, star, love from the stars, or love messages from the stars, and that will be for those who are in relationships or just looking to enhance their wonderful relationship with their self. Then we're going to pull um, some goddess energy from the Hip Hop Queens deck and we'll clarify with tarot. We have the uh, Next World Tarot here, and which is the you know most fabulous inclusive tarot deck. And then also can't leave out uh, Deviant Moon deck. We have the Garden of Lucid Daydreams, which we'll also use to clarify. And then, you know, just the love, whoops, love from source. Love from source. So we have the uh, Lover's Oracle. So let's get into this for the air signs. And air signs include, uh, for those who are new to tarot and astrology, those would be um, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So if you if that falls into your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, and we can also include Venus and Jupiter as well. However, you want to identify with this spread messages are for you. Ooh, Sergey Gainsbourg, the scandalousness. We're using some 18 and over decks, FYI, especially with our erotic tarot. We'll do uh, a tarot reading after we finish the oracles. So Sergey or Sergey Gainsbourg. Oops, wrong book. See what this fabulous person has to say on the card it reads beauty is the promise of happiness i to each their own <laughs> and a guarantee of despair okay so yes you know destruction of the soul is vanity we don't want to be too vain but uh you know beauty is promised some level of happiness on some you know everything is beautiful really and a guarantee of despair so yeah do not want to subject yourselves to pride and narcissism. That's for sure. And when I leave, you shall have no kisses left. Okay. And to love, you must ignore the difference between pleasure and pain. So there's, you could be in a relationship with somebody who is a little, you know, who's taking you on a little bit of a, a psych, psychological ride and not maybe not for the best. But let's see. Um, Sergei Ginsburg was one of the most iconic figures of French popular music. Um, his trademark style includes provocative irreverence and complete disregard for social conventions. <laughs> okay. Arguably, I would say that is not the case. I mean, we live in a world that is centered in individualism right now, as well as narcissism. And also, like, just shallowness. But anyways... I digress. His trademark style included provocative irreverence and... A, okay, so I read that already. He was rarely seen in public without a cigarette or drink. And in the turbulent year of 1968, Ginsburg met the actress Jane Birkin. Their decade-long relationship was highly productive, creating one of the enduring images of a passionate couple. And their daughter, Charlotte Ginsburg, was later to become a celebrated actress and singer. So, super power couple. I really... I'm all about that life. If you feel like you are in a power couple relationship, you are very blessed. So count your blessings. And um, yeah, that's amazing if you're able to create a legacy via being a power couple as well with your wonderful offspring. So you could have already had a baby or, you know, you're with somebody that you are about to have a baby with or that is, you know, in the future for you. 
So we'll pull some inner goddess energy, and that is for both masculines and feminines. We all have we all have femininity and goddess energy within us. And Lil' Kim. So resilience. The most famous side chick so far to date. The most fabulously famous side chick, I'd like to say. All right, so what does Lil' Kim have to say? She talks about resilience, being able to survive and thrive as well. Pulling a Lil' Kim card means that things will get better for you. You're built for whatever challenges come your way and will find a solution to problems you might be facing. Lil' Kim's shown the key is to never give up. Understand that while certain parts of your life are far from perfect, there is no need to wave a white flag and surrender. Take stock of what's happening around you. Life can be tough, but you are tougher. And shall you proceed? Yes, indeed. All right. Continue to rock your mic. So... Let's see here. We'll pull from the garden deck and see what messages are in store from this one. Ooh. Number eight. So we have with number eight, the little worm or caterpillar and you know you're maybe in an early stage of life or you know a new stage of progress for yourself this period could be before you know a great transition you know when you think about caterpillars they transform into the fabulous butterfly so you know a very unique and wonderful future lies ahead of you who knows how you're going to how you're going to turn out, what you're going to look like in the end after the transformation, but have patience for you still need to develop and maybe you need to, you know, spend some time chomping on some healthy greens, you know, exploring a little bit and trying to get caught and eaten by some carnivorous bird. So take it easy with yourself there, air signs, and we'll pull from tarot now. See what messages we receive from the next world tarot. And what I love about this deck is that it, you know, it's very centered in social justice and is inclusive of all bodies. So it's for anybody. Ooh, and then we have the Knight of Wands, so the fire starter. I'm a fire starter. You're a fire starter. <laughs> Shout out to Prodigy. So the Knight of Wands is all is really the true sort of knight in shining armor out of all the knights. Like they are all about the glory of love. They are super creative, charismatic, and they are also about show, showing up to help you rekindle or keep your flame lit as well. So they are the type of friend or partner that, you know, livens up the situation, that keeps the place lit. And, you know, that's that could be a friend or person that you're interested in seeking a relationship with. Someone who helps you light your fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Right? And let's see here, from the Love Oracle deck, we've got, ooh, looks like very self-love centered card. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. So yes, period of retreat, perhaps. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So what a better way to spend Valentine's Day activating your capacity for self-love knowing how fabulous you are that you know you may not be a member of a power couple right now but 
that could be in your future. You just have to, you just have to like, you know, give it some time, give it some time and, and the energy that you need to foster to do that, that pivotal transformation work. So we are going to move into a tarot reading now, air signs. And we are using the fabulous erotic tarot, also a very inclusive, sexy, provocative, but um, not not too, too, uh, what's the word? Controversial. I really feel like this is the right deck to sort of normalize all the fun and fabulous things and all the different ways we represent and express ourselves. So sexually charged, but also with boundaries, <laughs> healthy boundaries. Okay, so the tower, something's coming to an end for you, air signs. And it could be a frame of mind like you would find, say, in the hanged man card or the hanged one card. Uh, it could also be like this is kind of like the card of makeup sex. So something, you know, you may have ended a relationship already and you're just going through the motions of really sort of weeding your interactions out. You know, you're sort of that last, last little burst of flame before the fire truly burns out and you are left to sort of pick up the pieces and continue on on your journey to new beginnings, new directions. This could also just be like, you know, a change in your in your thinking. Something comes to an end with the way that you see the world as well. And maybe, uh, you know, you are doing the good work of unpacking your subscription to patriarchy, complacency. It could be any of those things. All for the purpose of love right? The greater good, that sort of thing. Because you are very ethics driven, being the fabulous air sign that you are. Ooh, and then we have the emperor. So the emperor is reversed. You may have been dealing with someone who was a bit of a tyrant and controller in your life. This could also be you letting go of your need to control reality and the way that you see it. We've had a lot of craziness going on, especially in North America with white nationalism, convoys, all that sort of thing. So, you know, maybe you are sort of dismantling or really seeing with open eyes the true nature of the true nature of, you know, like the way that people actually are, you know, sort of like the injustices that people totally subscribe to. And, you know, you really want to, you really want to be a part of, you know, developing new systems and a new way of seeing things and a new way of making decisions and running things. But you could feel very powerless at this time as well. And that could be part of the reason why you may have ended things off with this person. Um, you know, a, cha a difference in views. But overlooking the situation, at least you are doing well and happy with regards to your career, health, the work that you've been doing, um, you know, in the financial realm of things. You are very satisfied that way. So, you know, this is an ending of a, of a relationship, an ending of a way of seeing things. And maybe it is the way, maybe you need to, you're just coming to the realization that things are good. You're finally fostering that that skill of being able to count your blessings and emotionally connect emotionally get grounded in how far you've come along then we have within we have the king of roses so interestingly overlooking the situation you're good financially, you're on the right path. However, subconsciously, there's something that you're missing the mark with. You could be spending frivolously, maybe you need to really learn um, some more financial 
literacy on some level and really just do that do that work of uh, subscribing to what a sustainable future looks like for you financially because despite being in a good place with the with the nine of Pentacles the ten really speaks to that legacy that you know um, intergenerational wealth and you're not quite there so this could also be you needing to take a different direction seeing things differently i believe that the earth signs actually also had the same energy in their spread as well so just really getting grounded and not spending too much money not giving not giving all your dollars to those credit card companies Ooh, lover. Oh, and then we have the lovers. So coming from a place where you really were, um, you know, becoming one with yourself and, you know, feeling feeling good about your about your duality and the powerful connection that the the two sides that encompasses that encompass you. Like if this especially if you're a Gemini, then this card is definitely you. This is what you've been going through in your past and you've really you've really found a complete way of coming together. You've really manifested and, and come to the realization of what self-love is. And that could definitely be powerfully linked to this, this tower card that has come through as your concern. And it's definitely a new way of seeing things. It's having also letting go of people in your life that don't reflect this newfound self-love that you've worked hard to uh, come into. And moving forward, so there's going to be a bit of conflict. And that could be with this person that you are potentially about to end off with. Or at least come to a new understanding that the bad outweighs the good in your situation. You may have some positive memories, but there are still, there are still three spilt cups. So the person that you're dealing with could be very um, ornery or just stubborn, some stubbornness. And, you know, just the fact that you have this new, you've taken on this new ethical position where you're standing up for yourself, you're empowering yourself, you're letting go of what doesn't work for you. You know, you're coming into your, your understanding of self-love and this person that you're dealing with who is probably a bit of a tyrant and trying to control you and, and maintain the status quo is, you know, you're just really coming to the understanding that it's, it might not be working. And it might be something that you need to, um, you know, coming up with an exit plan, getting your money in order, though, first. You know, unfortunately, so many times uh, we end up in situations where we're, you know, we're being cared for financially. And we haven't really done enough work to develop our own personal strength financially. So that is something that may be what you need to focus on air signs. And we have the Eight of Feathers, so you do feel trapped in this situation. But you have now a new balanced approach or take on what love is. You know, this, this self-love with the twos here. This duality. Balanced with your emotional give and take, almost like temperance as well. And you do, you are afraid though of not, of not being smart. Not being able to to come up with a decent exit plan of, of, you know, you're afraid of staying, of staying stuck in, uh, in a situation where, you know, that's very centered in, in bondage to, to this other person. This also, this card is also, I believe, ruled by Gemini. So you don't, you don't want to lose this newfound self-love, this new balance that you've come to know in the emotional realm. But you are feeling trapped in this situation and, and something definitely does need to come to an end. Either this person's outlook on, on the situation and what they're contributing to or the situation as a whole. But finally, air signs. Let's see what else. 
comes to us here in the cards. Wow, we've had we have a lot of sword energy. There's so much air going on. But anxiety. Anxiety is something that's really going to it's gonna be a while. You know, this is time. This time card that came through, taking the time that you need, taking a step back and, and time alone, even. And sometimes time alone is what people need in order to sort of uh come to terms with their inner demons. Tolerate their fears, what gives you nightmares, learn how to develop the courage and resilience required to maintain your goals, to show up for yourself, and to not place this work on somebody that is not going to do that for you. And they're obviously not reflecting that in you. And, and perhaps the fact that it isn't in you is why is why you could be attracting this reversed emperor to stay in your life. But ultimately, it's up to you to decide and up to you to set the boundaries and, and to come to terms with um, knowing that you're going to be okay if you do choose to venture off on your own. And to have a good plan where you're taking care of yourself and to not, not stay stuck in a situation that is codependent, centered in uh, overconsumption on some levels it could be as well. You know, you could be, uh, there, there may be a, a lack of responsibility. This person is someone that you, that you really kind of like got down and dirty with in a lot of ways and expressed, you know, expressed your, your desires, any kind of fetishes, that sort of thing. You know, that was, that was something that you both did together. And, and you know, it might've been good. It worked for you for a while, but responsibilities hit real life hits home. And, you know, people come to a place where they can no longer, like there's no more room for growth. And if, your life is taking on a new direction. You do not want to stay stuck. Do not want to stay stuck. And, you know, you're just going to have to come to terms and learn how to tolerate, learn how to tolerate being, being on your own. So with that, my fabulous air signs, you can put your mind to anything and find the strength. You, no matter what, you are resilient. Know this at the end of the day. There are people that are willing to back you up, but this is also you showing up for yourself and being your own best friend. So thank you so much. If this resonates, do hit that like and subscribe button and uh, happy V-Day, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take care and bye for now.